Hi, welcome to another Wisdom Byte video. Elon Musk might be the busiest billionaire on the planet. It seems like, he comes up with a new idea every month. Naturally some of his ideas, have to sit on the shelf for a while. Musk said, he wanted to make an electric vertical takeoff, and landing aircraft, many years ago. But so far, Tesla has solely been focused, on making electric cars. Musk is waiting for battery technology to improve, before he makes a big push in the EV tall market. Tesla might one day be building flying cars, when more advanced batteries are available. Here's a look at Musk's plan, for an electric plane, and the competition he faces. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, for more content like this, and let's get right into it. Elon Musk hasn't really had any time, to work on creating an electric plane, in the last decade. He's far too busy, with his duties at Tesla, and SpaceX. A hectic schedule isn't the only reason, that Musk's plan for an EV tall remains on the drawing board. Musk has been reluctant to develop, an electric plane, because he feels battery technology needs to significantly improve, before EV ITALs become a viable form of transportation. However that hasn't stopped Musk from, dropping hints about a Tesla made eVital. He first mentioned an electric plane in 2009, and he teased his plans for an EV tall on Twitter, just last year. Musk also mentioned, his marvelous idea for an electric jet in the film Iron Man 2. His MCU cameo might be fiction, but a Musk-made eVital will one day be a reality. If Musk follows through with his plan, to build an eVital, one thing is certain, it'll cost millions of dollars to develop. Most eVital prototypes cost between, 10 and 20 million dollars, and certification, and initial production tooling, is estimated to be between, 150 million and 300 million, per program. EVTOL leaders have raised, millions in funding for their prospective prototypes, but it's possible that Musk could invest, t his own money into his design. Musk has invested, hundreds of millions in SpaceX, Tesla, and Neuralink. He is not above spending his own money, if he has a great idea. Musk says his electric plane, could be just a few years away. He believes that, all vehicles will be powered by electric batteries, in the near future. The only exception would be rockets. As long as battery technology improves, we can expect to see, Musk's EVTOL prototype in 3 to 4 years. Electric vertical takeoff, and landing vehicles, or EVTOLs, are sometimes referred to as flying cars. But in reality they are small electric planes, that can hover and travel short distances. There has been tremendous progress, in the EV tall market in the last 5 years. Most of the prototypes, that have been revealed, so far are unmanned, but Japanese company's SkyDrive, which is a startup, that's partially backed by Toyota, made history this past summer, with a successful piloted test flight. SkyDrive's SD03, prototype took flight on August 25, at the Toyota Test Field, in Toyota City, Japan. The piloted EVTOL prototype circled for about, 4 minutes before landing safely back to the ground. Shortly after the successful test flight, SkyDrive secured $36.6 million, in additional funding, and the company hopes to have, safe and secure flying car operations services available, in 2023. SkyDrive is unique, in the world of eVitals, as most other prototypes are autonomous, it's extremely likely that, Musk's eVital will be self-flying, as Tesla is on the verge of producing, fully autonomous cars. Musk's plan to have an eVital prototype, in 3 to 4 years. Hinges on one thing, batteries. According to Musk, a futuristic zero emissions jet, would require a battery pack with a density of, at least 400 watt hours per kilogram. If battery density could reach, 500 watt hours per kilogram, that would be even better. Improved battery density, is simply not enough for Musk. He wants better batteries, to be produced in volume. An experimental battery made in a lab, would not suffice, the Tesla Model 3's battery, has a density of around 250 watt hours per kilogram. So clearly more work needs to be done, if Musk's stream of an electric jet is to become a reality. In layman's terms, battery density is the amount of energy, each kilogram of battery can hold. When he appeared on Joe Rogan's podcast, Musk explained that, a higher battery density is required to overcome gravity. Musk wants his electric plane, to go as high as possible. So a greater energy density in the battery pack, is vital to overcome gravitational potential energy. 
Musk says that, the energy an eVital uses while cruising is very low, and that as Evital will be able to, recapture a large amount of gravitational potential energy on the way down. Therefore reserve fuel is not necessary, the initial takeoff phase is the challenging part, flying and landing, should be a piece of cake. We don't know what Musk's Evtol would look like, but there has been plenty of speculation. Tesla fanboy, and UK-based industrial designer, Tom Abbott Davies, posted a mock-up of a Tesla Model V Evtol concept on Twitter, earlier this year. The stylish design even caught Musk's attention. Quote looks pretty cool, wrote Musk. Elon Musk is losing the EV toll race, there's no doubt about it, he doesn't even have a prototype yet. Musk could come from behind and win, but he will have to defeat Evtol leaders, like, Airbus, Boeing, Kitty Hawk, and Lilium. European multinational aerospace corporation, Airbus, performed a successful Evtol test flight last year. The unmanned city Airbus prototype, made its first tethered flight, on May 3, 2019 in Dunworth, Germany. The all-electric aircraft runs on, four 800-volt batteries, that power four sets of paired counter-rotating props, inside aerodynamic ducts fixed to the fuselage. City Airbus was designed to be used as an urban air taxi, and can reach speeds of 120 km per hour. In December the City Airbus made its first untethered test flight, but the City Airbus is still just a part of a, demonstrator program when. Airbus begins production on its EV toll, it could look drastically different, from the City Airbus prototype. Lilium, is another leader in the Evtol marketplace. The Munich-based startup recently, raised an additional $240 million, to fund its eVital program. Lilium hopes to achieve its goal of regional air mobility by 2025. Despite the company's success, there have been some setbacks. Lilium has had numerous successful test flights, with its eVital prototypes, the company originally produced two prototypes, but one caught on fire in February, during maintenance work. Thankfully Lilium's remaining eVital prototype is still in working order. Lilium's Jet Eptal prototype uses, a distributed energy propulsion platform and, sports 36 ducted fans, for vectored thrust flight. Jet has a projected range of up to 300 km, and a top speed just under 300 km per hour. Lilium's valuation, could be as high as, $1 billion, and the company has major backers, including Chinese tech conglomerate, Tencent, and investment firm Bailey Gifford, which is coincidentally Tesla's, third largest, shareholder. Once widely adopted, Evtols will predominantly be used as, short-range air taxis in urban centers. They can also be used as air ambulances, and could even have military applications. Long-range flights are more difficult, but Chinese heavy drone company, Auto Flight, has developed a hybrid Evtol with a range of, 1,000 km. Uber is working with numerous eVital companies, to develop an air taxi service, through its Uber Elevate program Uber, Elevate partners include, Boeing, Hyundai, and Bell. The International Civil Aviation Organization is working, on a project called, Ambular, which is an eVital designed, for use as an air ambulance. Major Angular partners including, Chinese AAV developer, Ehang, and the Hong Kong University of Science, and Technology. Evtols could also be used as search and rescue vehicles. ADAC Lufthertong Air Rescue in Germany, has been studying the feasibility of using Volocopter, Evtol in rescue operations. Evtol could reduce transit time, and save lives. The faster a patient can be flown to the hospital, the better. Evitals could even be used, in agriculture. Volocopter has developed, a Volo drone, based on its EV tall air taxi. The drone is powered by 18 rotors, with an overall diameter of 9.2 meters, and can carry a payload of up to, 200 kilograms. Volodrome would be ideal, for spraying, crops, and sowing seeds. There are literally hundreds of uses, for EV tolls, most people think EV tolls will only be used, as air taxis. But the truth is the possibilities are endless. That's it for today. Who do you think will win the EV tall race? Would you take a ride in an electric plane, made by Tesla? Do you think EV tolls will be commonplace in the future? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, stay tuned to this channel for more great videos, and thanks for watching.